Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Today we are going to focus on a use case of fully homomorphic encryption with Townsill library in Python programming language. But before we begin, please like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. We have recently mentioned RSA and LGML encryption algorithms and those are partially homomorphic encryption algorithms. For instance, RSA is homomorphic with respect to the multiplication. On the other hand, it's not homomorphic with respect to the addition. Similarly, LGML algorithm is homomorphic with respect to the multiplication, but we could make a small modification and it becomes homomorphic with respect to the addition, but in this case it loses its homomorphic feature in multiplication. On the other hand, fully homomorphic encryption algorithms cover both multiplication and addition and today we are going to use Tensile library in Python. Actually it's derived from Microsoft Seal but it's written in C++ and Tensile adds Python re-implementation and it's allowing us to make calculations on encrypted data and those operations are supported element-wise addition, subtraction and multiplication of encrypted encrypted vectors and encrypted plane vectors. Also, we are able to make calculations for dot product and matrix multiplication. In our use case, there are two different roles. One is data owner and second is data operator. HR department is going to be the data owner and I'm going to encrypt the salary of someone and this is handled by HR department. Just HR department knows the encryption case. On the other hand, data operator is going to be developer or an application. Data operator is going to update the encrypted salary of that person. Firstly, that person is going to get 20% wage increase for this year. Thereafter, he's going to get 600 pound bonus in this year. So we are going to apply both multiplication and addition on encrypted data while operator is not knowing the encryption key. And in both data owner and data operator roles, we are going to use those common functions, write data and read data. Write data is going to get bytes and saves it as file and content of that file is going to be base64 encoded string. On the other hand, read data is going to read a file and content of that file is going to be base64 encoded string and it's going to be converted to bytes. Let's start with the data owner role. I'm going to import the Tensile dependency and its alias is going to be TS. I'm going to also import the VTS library. Firstly, I'm going to generate the case. To generate case, we firstly need to create the context. Tensile.context. First argument is going to be tensile.scheme type dot ckks this is coming from here if you want to work with real numbers you need to use ckks on the other hand if you want to work with integers instead of ckks you should use bfv second argument is going to be poly underscore modulus underscore degree and it's going to be 8192 third and final argument is going to be coefficient underscore mod underscore bet size this is going to be an array and i'm going to set its content to 60 40 40 and 60. once context is ready we are able to generate case context dot generate underscore galois underscore case this is going to create our k pair private and public k and also i'm going to set the global scale this is going to be to do the power of 30. i'm going to extract the private k and this is going to be secret context and this is going to be context dot serialize and here i'm going to set the save secret k argument to true also 
I'm going to store the secret context variable into the file here, util stuff, write data. And first argument was file name and second argument was data. File name is going to be case slash secret dot txt and content of data is going to be secret context. Let's see, uh, my private key is stored under case slash secret dot txt. This is my private key and as you can see the size is almost one megabyte. Once private key is stored, we're able to store our public key. Here I'm going to call context dot make context public. It's going to drop the secret key from the context and in that way I can share my public key to someone else. Director public context is going to be context dot serialize and director I'm going to write it write data and this is going to be case slash public dot txt and content of data was public context. Let's see it. This is my public key. It's almost 50 megabytes, much larger than the secret key. Once our private and public key pair is ready, we are able to encrypt messages. And let's encrypt my salary. Tencel is able to make calculations on vectors. So I'm going to create an array and store my salary here. Suppose that my salary is $10,000. To save the public key, I call make context public and just drops the private key. So here I do not have the private key. I have to read it from case folder. That's why I'm going to recreate the context here. Tencel dot context from and I'm going to read the content of my secret key. Utils dot read data and let's drop in case slash secret dot txt here uh, context stores both private and public key again and this is my salary here we are going to call tencel.ckks underscore vector and pass context and plain salary pair and this is going to be my encrypted salary let's store encrypted salary into the file system utils.write data and content of the file is going to be outputs slash salary encrypted dot txt and content of the data was salary encrypted. It throws an exception and says that files like object is required because we forget to call serialize here. My encrypted salary is stored in the file system under outputs and salary underscore encrypted dot txt and as you can see this is encrypted and it stores the salary information of myself. In our use case, this salary is stored by HR department and just HR department knows the salary of someone. But in data operator, it could be a developer, it could be an application. We are going to update that encrypted salary information without private key. For data operator role, I'm going to import the Tensile library again and its alias is going to be TS. Similarly, I'm going to import the utils. Thereafter, I'm going to read the context with just public key, tensile dot context underscore from, and we are going to read the data of the data of case slash public dot txt. Remember that before saving public dot txt, we called make context public function, and this drops the private key. In that way, public.txt just stores the public key without private key. Once data operator has public key, it can make calculations on the encrypted data. Let's make calculations. Firstly, I'm going to read the encrypted salary. Utils.readData and my encrypted salary is stored under outputs salary encrypted. And it's going to be salary proto. Thereafter, I'm going to call tensile dot lazy underscore ckks underscore vector from salary proto. 
and this is going to be my encrypted salary and finally we are going to link the current context link underscore context and pass the context information here not the stat this context just stores the public key now suppose that that employee got wage increase 20 percent wage increase 20 percent this means that we are going to multiply our salary to 1.2 we can multiply our encrypted salary with plain 1.2 directly wage increase rate plain this is going to be ts dot plain tensor and we are going to pass 1.2 similarly suppose that that employee got a bonus 600 dollars and this is going to be bonus increase Right plane is going to be a tensor to 600. Remember that from the official tensile documentation, it can make calculations on encrypted plane vectors. Here, our salary is encrypted, but our wage increase rate, which is 20%, that's plane, also bonus $600, that's also plane. So, we are going to make calculations salary encrypted times wage increase rate plane. This is going to increase my salary 20%. Thereafter, I'm going to add my bonus. And this is going to be my net salary. Salary new encrypted. And let's save this new salary to the file system. Utils.writeData. And let's save this into outputs slash salary encrypted new with plain calculations txt thereafter i'm going to pass salary new encrypted information here dot serialize my new salary is stored here salary encrypted new but plain calculations and just data owner can decrypt it let's focus on the decryption i'm going to read the new salary data utils dot read data and this is going to read from outputs salary encrypted new plain calculations this is going to be my message proto thereafter message is going to be tensile dot lazy ckks vector from and we are going to pass a proto here and finally link the current context and that link context and here we restore the context and this context stores both private and public key Thereafter, let's decrypt the message. Remember that we are feeding tensors. That's why I'm going to get at zero index value. And I'm working on real numbers. That's 12,600. Remember that my base salary was 10,000. I apply 20% wage increase. Then it becomes 12,000. And I append 600 bonus. And it becomes 12,600. That's my final salary. And this is calculated by the date operator. And as you can see, date operator doesn't know my plain salary it used my encrypted salary here even though the data operator doesn't know my plain salary it knows my wage increase rate and bonus rate they are both tensors but tensile is able to make calculations on encrypted encrypted vectors as well so if you want thereafter you can encrypt this wage increase rate and bonus rate on the data owner side let's see it here data owner is going to encrypt the wage rate information and what was 1.2 similarly data owner is going to encrypt the bonus weight information and it was 600 and we are going to encrypt the wage weight with tensile.ckks underscore vector and we are going to pass context and wage weight pair similarly bonus weight is going to be calculated in the same way and finally we are going to store those encrypted wage and bonus weights into our file system utils dot write data and path of wage weight file is going to be outputs slash wage weight dot txt and second argument is going to be encrypted value dot serialize similarly bonus weight is going to be stored outputs bonds weight.txt let's see which weight is encrypted 
and bonus weight is encrypted also now data operator is going to make calculations on encrypted encrypted vectors let's mention this calculations with encrypted plain vectors and now i'm going to make calculations with encrypted encrypted vectors data operator is going to read the data of wage weight and bonus weight data outputs wage weight this is going to be w proto director wage encrypted is going to be tensile dot az cjks vector from w proto and finally we are going to link the current context w dot link context current context similarly i'm going to do it for bonus lazy ckk is vector from v proto this is going to be bonus and we are going to set the current context now in the data operator site salary encrypted is encrypted wage is encrypted and bonus is encrypted they are all encrypted but still we are able to make calculations salary encrypted times weight plus bonus this is going to be my new salary salary encrypted new version 2 let's store this into the file system utils dot write data outputs and here i'm going to name it to salary encrypted new with encrypted vectors dot txt and as a second argument i'm going to use salary encrypted new version 2 dot serialize here this is stored solar encrypted now with encrypted vectors similarly data owner can decrypt this content let's see it decryption this was from encrypted plain vectors and let's see encrypted encrypted vectors here i'm going to read the data from outputs and salary new with encrypted vectors is going to be message to underscore proto after message to is going to be equal dot lazy cks vector from message to proto finally i'm going to link the current context message to dot link context current context and let's see the content of message to it's 12,600 again. So we have implemented a fully homomorphic encryption use case and our base salary was encrypted by data owner. Thereafter, data operator updated our base salary, that's encrypted version, with plain tensors for wage increase rate and bonus. In that way, data operator can update our encrypted salary without knowing the, our base salary. And second use case, we use encrypted values for both wage increase rate and bonus rate. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.